to you and thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Now, we've been having very interesting conversations over the past few weeks and today we just want to talk about something that I feel like in this weather especially, everyone is talking about relationships. But the breakups in particular, the end of a relationship, how do you handle a breakup? How do you even get over it or getting through the whole process of a breakup? I want us to really understand this conversation to help us maybe deal with our emotions better, maybe deal with the situations better and understand some of the challenges that come with a breakup. So joining me live on set today is Sandra Atieno, who is an accountant. Karibu sana, Sandra. Thank you so much. Really, it's a pleasure being yeah, here. You look amazing too. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and next to Sandra, we have Alan Lawrence, who has been here before. He is a relationship coach. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, maybe. I'm okay, I yeah, thank God. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I want us to really understand this conversation yeah. with these two guests who they've experienced these things and we are just trying to figure out how can we maneuver after a breakup or even before a breakup and the question we're asking you on social media today is should you take back your gifts and your belongings after a breakup do you think it's something that is rightful for you to do let us have this conversation you can go on our social media platforms at y254tv and let us know what you think about it. Should you take back gifts and belongings after a breakup has happened? And I think this has happened so many times previously. We've seen it either with public relationships by public figures, celebrities, socialites, and even within our personal circle of friends. We want to really understand the process of a breakup because it gets so awkward. And how can we better maneuver this? Nasasa, juna jua e season ya baridi. So many people are thinking about why would you want to go through a breakup? Let us start from the beginning because so many people get into relationships with people they love and people they want to probably spend the rest of their lives with. Alan, yes. in your experience, because you've written some books about relationships and love and you've experienced some of these things, yeah. why would you say people would need to go through a breakup? Uh, first of all, before even we delve uh, deep into it, the thing is, uh, no one breaks up with you just within a spur of a moment. They, they, like, they broke up with you psychologically like two months ago before they actually, uh, uh, like, in shape the, the entire thing. So it started a long time ago. The challenge is most of the people, they confuse the red dresses with the red flags. So the red flags are already there, but you are not seeing. Because you tend to love this person because of what you want to see, instead of you s loving the person for who they are. So the challenge is, do not try to, do not try to, uh, to, to color someone or to paint someone to your preference. That a person for who they are, the true color they manifest unto you, do not try to ignore them. Because it is the very red flags that you, you ignore from the beginning that become the great deal breakers at the end of it. So mm. the thing is, uh, if, if the relationship is not serving you right, it's okay to break up. And after the breakup, do not uh, kill yourself. Do not try to think that you are the problem. At times, maybe it was just a season for you to be able to learn a few things. And maybe that breakup is, is actually God protecting you from some things. Mm. Yeah. I like how you started by saying most times people break up with you before they actually break up with yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just something that you wake up and yeah. decide in the morning, mm. I'm going to tell this person by midday it's mm. over. Mm. You think about it. Yeah. It's a process you go through. Yeah. And I think particularly for women. Mostly for women. Mostly for women. Because <laughs> there's always the, yeah, yeah, there's there's always the emotional detachment yeah. even before you get to a point where you say it's over with us. Yes. Why do you think that's the case, Sandra? Um... Personally, I feel like maybe you're trying to weigh and understand, like, is it really worth the breakup sometimes? And also sometimes it's more of, uh, do I really, really want to do this, you know? Mm -hmm. And you're not sure. And sometimes it also gives you that security that, you know, once it's done, it's done. Mm. I don't want to go back. I don't want to 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 relieve those moments because sometimes you're living in that idea of what we used to be, yeah. what we can be even in future, and you don't see the reality of things that you know things have to end and you know. 
Mm. Yeah. And you know, you've just, I think it's kind of echoed what yeah. Alan has said yes, about exactly. the red flags. <laughs> you know, because sometimes Some... you, in that moment, you just thinking about, especially romanticizing about what you could be. Sometimes the red flags aren't that red. Particularly, <laughs> 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 or red is your that, favorite yeah, color. <laughs> so, so you're like, I mean, I like this color, so why not? Let yeah. me say a little bit. But again, over a period of time, they keep, they keep manifesting, and it's not that mm. it's one thing, they just become bigger and bigger. The red flags are like a yeah. bigger flag and a yeah. bigger flag, and then you're realizing, nah, this ain't for me. Mm. Yeah. Some, some are not red flags, they're, they're actually the Red Sea. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> deeper than that. It's deeper than okay. that, true. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, in the context of relationships, you need to understand it's a man who, are, who, who initiates the relationship. It's a man who, who knows when the relationship will happen, but it is a lead who, uh, who will determine when intimacy will happen. And in this case, mm. intimacy will happen in this case. How well do we connect? Because, mm -hmm. Cheryl, I'll, I'll tell you for a matter of fact, whenever a man sees a lady this way, I already know the direction of this relationship, the mm. way the direction should go. Yeah. So when, 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 I'm, when I'm tossing you or when I'm, when I'm gisting you around, mm. do not be so much excited. Oh, Lawrence loves me. Mm. Ask me, we are dating for how long? Because you might end up dating for eternity. So you yeah. got to be very careful and very serious because the challenge is not men. In most cases, ladies will tend to blame men or all, all those kind of things. But the problem is the kind of intimacy you guys give out here. Mm. So it is a, a time for you now, that time for dating is now the time for you to be able to understand mm. if this relationship serves you right or does not serve you right. Mm. Yeah. But it, I feel like it also goes both ways for the man and for the woman because sometimes it's also not working out for the men, you see. And also he has to decide like, man... I'm not getting what But let's let's think about mm. how do you how do you get to that point of mm. it's not working out? What is not working out? Be because when you enter into a relationship I feel like there are specific expectations coming from both ends, yeah? Mm. So if those expectations that those expectations most of the times they're not spoken out loud. They're not communicated. Then. Yes. Mm. So if they're not met, it can lead to, you know. That is why such thoughts. That, that it's true, and I agree. But mm -hmm. that is why. What is dating? Dating is for us to communicate, to be able to check on the compatibility and the chemistry. Yeah. Is this relationship going to serve us? Yeah. It is that period because I always say that with your clothes on. Because the moment you guys get intimate, then forget about it. Because there are some things you will never mm. sit down to be able to ask. So yeah. when you get out there for dates, it's not a time for you to ask for food for your fifth generation. It's mm. a time for you to sit and have serious introspective questions. Mm. Ask this person, how many kids do you want us to have? If mm. at all you are looking at spending the rest of your life with this person, so you go. You have to be very, very, very sure. Check mm. on that chemistry and the compatibility. Yeah. Very important. So does it and mean... Hold yeah. up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So. I love how my guests are just conducting the interview. Yeah, I know. Maybe you make a spectator. But yeah. before we, we, we progress with this, you know, we're talking about yeah. the things that you should talk about yeah. before mm. when you're getting to know someone, someone. Yeah. before you get into a relationship. Yeah. But then there are levels to relationships as mm. well. Yeah. There are people who just want to get into relationships because it's fun because their friends are doing it and mm. then there are people who when you get to a certain age you're looking for a life partner mm. so let's talk about those those different stages because okay. we have a variety of okay. people okay. who are watching us there are people who've just finished high school and they have Maybe ni boyfriend okay high school. I must join the since yeah. primary school. Yeah. Let's talk about those different levels. Okay. Perhaps when uh, when you're looking for a partner, mm -hmm. what exactly? First of all, the, you've given us some some examples yeah. mm -hmm. of questions you should ask. Yeah. What else should you make known before? Because you've communicated that mm -hmm. sometimes your expectations you don't say them, you yeah. don't communicate them, yeah. Yeah. and those can lead to a breakup. Mm. So what are the things that you should make very, very clear? Let's, let's get a piece from the gentleman and then the lady. Yeah. From the gentleman's side, mm. what are some of the things that you should really highlight before you get into a serious relationship with someone? Uh, before even, like, th that is now where we, we get it so wrong as far as relationship are concerned. Mm. When, when you are getting out there in the market, mm. do not put your expectations out there. Be open-minded. Meet these people. Then you'll be able to check on the specific elements that you are looking for. Because today, if I, I, I come, I, I tell you that I'm looking for a serious wife. 
for a mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you, because let's say your aid does not permit you, your, your aid clock is like it's quickly ticking. Mm -hmm. So it means that you will come masquerading as a true wife that I'm looking, I'm looking for. Yeah. So I have to be open-minded. I'll be able to go out there, meet, meet you, to be able to check oh, where, where do we really meet. So I need to have my, these uh, requirements close to my heart. Let it be like a secret, kind of, but communicate and uh, 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 unravel yourself slowly by slowly. The moment you check, okay, this person can be a, a wife for me. Because if I clearly say that I'm looking for a lady who is going to support me, blah, blah, and maybe you are desperate for a marriage or rather a relationship, you'd mm. be that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I like that you've said that because I think this is something I've heard before. Mm. Mm. You shouldn't tell someone, this is my type. Because so many people ask that question, yeah. what's your type, mm. what are you looking mm. for? Mm. And when you tell someone that, then you've given them the cheat code. You've yeah. given oh, them uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So someone it's very easy for someone to very easy for someone to masquerade as that. Yeah, just to add on a little bit. You know, the challenge is you ask for an average person whatever they want mm -hmm. in a relationship, clearly they will not tell you. Clearly they will not tell you. Because today, uh, you ask any lady out here, which, who is your ideal man? Tall, dark, and handsome. Let me tell you, you don't need a tall, dark, and handsome. They can be tall, dark, and handsome, but mm -hmm. they're not trustworthy. Mm -hmm. They can be tall, dark, and handsome, but they're, they're violent. All mm -hmm. you need, you need a person, instead of tall, look for a person who is trustworthy. Mm -hmm. You get, instead mm -hmm. of looking for a person who is well-mannered, look for a person who is kind, and all those kind of things. So you have to have those soft skills and soft personalities that mm -hmm. you are really looking at. And mm -hmm. how can you know this, this? By you being, just conduct a casual setup whereby you, the two of you can meet, be able to check on the temperaments of this person, how they react to people around them, their attitude, all those kind of things. Mm. So it is uh, that time. That's why I always say people should invest in, uh, in relationships. Yeah. yeah. And I like that because so many people look at the physical appearance, yeah. but mm. they don't think about the character. Yeah. Yeah. And the character is really who you're getting. Because yeah. <laughs> appearance changes. Yeah. And uh, Sandra, yeah. according to what he said, yeah. what do you think? Because we always have a list. And there's one thing I also came across mm. there was something that said ladies say I want a man who loves me and yeah. men say I want a woman who respects me yeah. oh, so there's a difference yeah. because when you get respect you know even love can come with it friendship mm. all these things but then we expect love but we're not looking at the temperament of someone how he behaves and all those things yeah. so what do you think as probably as we're looking for more serious partners what are some of the things that you feel like we should consider more of and then some of the things that are irrelevant first of all i'd like to say it's very important for a person to know themselves to be aware of the it's okay to be aware that you want to have certain things in a person to expect or to just deserve specific things in a relationship okay so when it comes to you know those people saying that the least and what's not i think it's People hide that a lot nowadays. It, when I was young, I, I was very open. I'd be like, I want this, this, and this, and this. But as you also grow older, you your, the uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. The list is still there, oh, but it's mm. also more of things have changed. Yeah, sure. The the way I think, the way you, yeah. the uh, right now at the moment, there are specific things that didn't matter or at that time mattered that now don't matter. Not you yeah, see. Sure. So it, I feel like it really, really matters with the stage that you are mm. in. So it's progressive. Yeah, it's progressive. Mm. It is. It is. It and I think some, is. sometimes yeah. when you date people, that's when you know what you want and what you don't want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because you can have an idea of, you know, oh. I want someone who's kind, compassionate, nini, unapatam se, and na maybe I'm vibe. Mm. I'm a, I'm a sana and you may be hyper. Or yeah. you want someone who's energetic all over the place and you get there and you realize, no, no. <laughs> or this is not for you me. You get that person and that, yeah. and that person, you're not for that person. Mm. You get. So for some reason, you guys are not compatible anyways. Mm. You get. Yeah. yeah. You can be wanting a quiet person, but that person is like, yo, this girl talks too much. You're not for me. You're not for me. <laughs> so yeah. maybe it's... Now, how? Because at that point, we're getting to a breakup. 
Mm. Let's say you have your requirements. Mm. You want someone who's prayerful, someone who's considerate, yeah. compassionate. Unapata mtu mwenye ni thug, like <laughs> yeye ni gangster ajali. I can the, change him. You know, and you're like I can change him, but then you realize <laughs> the change is not happening. It's not. How do you initiate this conversation of a breakup? Alan, how would you start a conversation with someone and say I don't Take think. Anguka nae. Kuna mtu mia son. What do you do? Okay, before even we get what do we do, the thing is, before anything, before the tall oh, feelings uh, and mm. all those kind of things, mm. develop friendship. Yeah. Develop friendship with this person. Mm. Because a relationship can come and go. Yeah. But when the two of you are friends, it's so easy. That is why it is so easy to make, to make your friend your partner. And like yeah. making your partner your, your friend, friend. Sure. it is okay. so easy. So, if this uh, relationship is on the foundation of friendship, I'm telling you, this is a space whereby you can be yourself. Mm. And if it does not work for you, then even before that, love the person in the mirror. Develop so much uh, uh, esteem for yourself before mm. even you think of a relationship or before even you get into a relationship. So you are. The, you remember you are coming into relationship into this relationship as a whole person you are not mm. coming for this relationship to heal you so mm. the moment you come into this relationship this person will be able to meet you in your element not you meeting them in, in their element mm. so uh, after you've developed yourself be be a friend to this person and let the, let them be your friend so Whenever this relationship on the, is on the foundation of friendship, then you are free to talk about anything, to talk about your feelings, to talk about your fears, and you feel so much secure. And supposing this thing is not happening, let's have a conversation. Yeah. Let's have a conversation and, and be like, yo, this thing is not working. Maybe, because even it's not working for you, it might not be working for this person. Yeah. And here this person could not communicate. They were just waiting. Like, you see the way we have an open secret. Mm. I have something about you, then, you know, Sheri mm. Lasijue, mm. you get like, we, we are in all the, of you are in the know. Yeah. In your time, <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you get. So, it is maybe open the, the channels for communication. Communicate mm. about it. Feel yeah. free about it. Because even it will help you heal so that you'll be able to correct your mistakes if you're looking at spending now to get into another relationship whereby this person will tell you maybe uh, the way you acted sometime this way and this way, it was not, it, it was not proper. That is ideally what should happen mm. oh, but yeah. now what is happening these days uh, people whenever they break up matusi mimi or you know like when she does yeah you are telling them yes. <laughs> you do a podcast about <laughs> I know. your toxic ex <laughs> i know then no. the thing is if Cheryl, today we sit with you here within 2 minutes all you are speaking is about your toxic ex then you need to tell me what is what was your role in that relationship. Mm. So if if you can the two of you and mean it well, maturity, mm. whereby let's have this conversation. It will help us progress into the next relationship mm. here. But now when we look at it from that perspective, Alan, yeah. don't you think it's even harder mm. for you to tell someone who's really your friend mm. that it's over, it's not working? Because don't <laughs> you think mm. people people the reason why I'm saying this is I imagine your friendship will not be the same afterwards. Obvious. Mm. And a person, yeah. and a person mm. who could not make it as your partner, after breakup, just go separate ways. You see? Because yeah. now, now that you're saying that, what if this was your really good friend? Because the people who were best friends, yeah. mm. and then they got into relationships, but then afterwards, it's not the, it's same, not the same. Because you either hurt someone or you're afraid of even losing that friendship. So I think that can make people drag it out longer mm. and uh, make it in a, in yeah. a push. Sana. Yeah, what do you think happened. about that, Sandra? That one, I feel like, especially if you were friends before, even for a while, there's always that calm. I'm not sure I want to be in a relationship with you in the first place because mm. you're scared, you don't know if, you know, what if it ends? Yeah. Are we going to be the same when we break up? Not that yeah. I'm, I want us to break up, but there's that level of being scared. The worry. Mm. But I feel for him, what he was mentioning was, before I even, me and you start dating, you create a level of friendship. Mm. It doesn't have to mean that. We were probably strangers, but now we're actually creating a form of, now I know you, I know you like this, I know you what. Why don't you think we move this friendship into something meaningful? You see, that kind of, 
understanding mm. and I think it's easier because now you know this is my friend this is someone I've confided in so many times mm. I don't feel like I need to hide myself to tell this person this and this is not working because we've actually tried if it's something that we've talked about not once not twice not thrice but it's not working it's the same same issue over and over why not yeah. we just end it yeah mm. Mm. But, okay but, but the thing is uh, just to add on what she said yeah i said earlier on nobody just breaks up with you within a spur of a moment mm. The red, the red flags are already there, even to me, Gilea, red citrus, you understand? Mm. So the thing is, at this particular point, it, and for, for, for instance, for a lady to say, I'm done, no matter what you do, she's done. Because mm. for a lady uh, in a relationship, you guys begin the process of healing while in the relationship. Yes. That is why today, Cheryl will break up with you the next minute, even you're having a wedding. It's okay, not that you are cheating. <laughs> You understand? But it just happened to True. guys too. No, what I mean, <laughs> for guys, we, we get into another relationship as a revenge. For mm -hmm. us to run away from, for us to run yeah. away from so the reality. Really that is why, if I'm a broken, I get to date you, I will manifest some characters. You get some mm -hmm. characters because I'm trying to revenge. I'm not realistic. So men, in most cases, we never deal with our issues. We, we in, in most cases, we tend, we tend to flight from our issues. Mm. We never stand to fight them. That is why you get in from a relationship, you are done. No matter, I don't want to be anything about Alan Lawrence, you never want to hear about mm. it. Lisa, because you've already healed. Mm. So in this case, before a heartbreak, uh, like now, it's, we, it, it's over between us. All the signs are, are, are already there. So even before you tell me, mm. already your actions, but I always say light travel faster than sound. Yes. So I've already seen all those signals. So by the time you're telling me, I'm like, yo, I saw it coming. Yeah. 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 And what about oh, yes. in the people who are in denial? Mm. Mm. You know the case you've given? I think it's a popular notion. Mm. Women heal before they get to a breakup. Yeah. And then by the time they're done, they're just done. They move on. No, no, no. A woman is living her best life, going to the gym yeah. with a paid job, something. Yeah. And then they guys <laughs> you know the guys get into it for months and then months later, later. that's when it hits them mm. that have actually lost this it's one her. person mm. now let's talk about the people who are in denial because the truth is we <laughs> might assume this person has seen this breakup coming yeah. Yeah. but the whole time they're delulu yeah. you know and then afterwards they get spiteful yeah. They start attacking you. They start attacking the things that yeah. you've done, or maybe even bringing up some things from the past. Yeah. They're like, mm -hmm. And Sandra, have you experienced guys who get spiteful after, like a breakup, or even friends, you, your friends who are ladies, yeah. who even after a, a breakup, they talk horribly about the ex and they say all these negative things? Uh, personally, I don't know. Maybe I have really healthy friends who are secured mentally and everything, but I've never experienced my friends being that bitter, mm -hmm. especially after a breakup. I feel maybe it's the healing. I am not sure. Wali heal mapema. Wali heal mapema. <laughs> <laughs> Those girls wali heal mapema. Mm -hmm. But maybe I've had a case of a guy being very, very, very bitter, you know. Oh, I did this for you. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> you know, we are not leave. I'm not leaving you. We are in this together forever. And that is really scary. Please, yeah. guys, I hope you're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that really people scary. who can even stalk you after yeah, the fact. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, because that is scary. I've, I've heard of situations oh, yeah. where people will stalk you even after they will troll you on social media. Easy podcast, because fortunately, accounts. yeah, fortunately, Sandra, you, you're giving us a, a, an, in, um, an experience of healthy ladies yeah. who will heal. Yeah. But we have experienced women who are still spiteful, oh. even after the fact. We've seen it on social mm. media. We have seen it yeah. in most places yeah. where they go and they talk all these negative things, expose the dirty laundry of their exes and all that. Social media. Yeah. Alan, mm -hmm. how do we avoid situations like that? How do you get to a point where you talk like mature people and you end it amicably so that akuna mwenye anabaki na mauchungu ama akuna mtu mwenye anaanza kukuwa spiteful hivyo? You see, <laughs> me I wonder, you know, 
this person who like we were dating then things went uh, south whichever mm. let me ask you whenever this person was kind to you uko na tuambia so you are taking us uh, like you are, you are dumping site no we cannot mm. do what. so the thing is b before even you commit to a person in a relationship mm. be able to check on the level of maturity mm. expose them to situations like you cannot fully know this person until you know if this person i disappoint them what will this person do create a, a fake situation you get as much as i don't buy the idea of pranks and we stuff we are testing people uh, now I, I, oh I, my god i know <laughs> in, in terms <laughs> do not crazy. do not put like a big test but mm. try to expose this person just to evaluate, evaluate their character, them, oh. their to character see perhaps at the level of you, yeah, you, you get maybe how they react you see when when they're angry when or they're when they're angry, sad or yeah. when they have lost something because mm -hmm. because that should be able to tell you. if the, if a person has been telling you know i will slap you I will oh. and and before even we are still dating mm. we, you've not committed into a relationship yeah. do you think this person will spare you no mm -mm. so Definitely no. The signals and, and and all those things mm. be, uh, has a way of predicting who the person will be and yeah. also when you sit with this person ask them how they ended up with their ex you get ask mm. them how did it go because they are uh, all over the place they'll be there telling you ule dem alikuwa hivi na hivi pick yeah. those things do not let, do not let the love blind you pick mm. those things how they speak about their ex then mm. it should be able to tell you who they are becoming tomorrow yeah. I, supposing you disappoint them take this person at a restaurant how they treat that waiter mm. how they treat that get man there yeah. should be able to tell you a lot about this person their mental health some people out here out here you think they are serious till you see the people they are dating you see this person is dating a psycho and you think That's this person true. is okay yeah. so it's it's a question of you be able uh, determining and checking the level of maturity of this person do not act surprised like the rest of us when you break up <laughs> we will join you to act surprised because yeah and wonder what uh, happened what happened you also didn't see you know some chai you know some chai to bore and sisi will be there oh then we move on yeah so, yeah and I, what you're saying i think i've had this also from other experts before mm -hmm. you have to not test test yeah. mm -hmm. but at least check. una 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 check yeah. because check also let's remember we have a list yeah. at the yeah. back of our mind exactly, yeah. of someone yeah. who we want yeah. mm -hmm. so we just want to be sure who this person yeah. is because you know especially with a new relationship there's that honeymoon phase yeah. where you can never see anything wrong this, this is my <laughs> man this is the best person what do you mean this is an angel by god yeah. so by him. yeah <laughs> and sometimes even introducing him to maybe your friends yeah, family yeah. important mm -hmm. people in your life yeah so that they can test and see yeah. if this person is the right person because there's some things that you can miss yeah. mm. sandra mm -hmm. would you ask your future partner about mm. their ex would you have this conversation and ask what happened how many exes and all those things the word i've asked that's the question that's the answer i've asked that question before mm -hmm. and yeah yeah i think i will ask to gauge the what happened mm. depending on how you answer that question i'll know a lot about you because mm. yeah. it gives you some insight some insight if you're going to talk crap about her <laughs> i'll know for sure if something happens between us you're talking crap about me too yeah, yeah. and i like that yes. i like mm. the way we, we've really set the foundation for these conversations the, the, and i hope that you're taking note of everything that we're saying i hope you're taking something away from this conversation we are going to take a very short break and then we'll come back and talk about handling the breakup. Mm. Okay. The question we've asked you on social media is should you take back gifts and your belongings after a breakup? Do you think it's right for you when you demand to say I bought you this car, I want it back. I gave you this jacket, I need it back. What are your thoughts on this? Share that on our platforms at Y254. We will sample some of your comments when we come back and we will discuss what exactly we think is the right thing to do after a breakup. So stay tuned to Y254 TV. Why two five four? Imagine.